them coming in as well. Now, tomorrow, the Chancellor will unveil his autumn statement, his last mini budget ahead of next year's general election. So, will it mean more cuts to public services or a hike in taxes? He could also consider a third option and give some extra support to companies trying to sell abroad. Today, a new campaign was launched to give businesses here in the West a helping hand in the export market. Our business correspondent, Dave Harvey, is at Bristol Temple Meads for us this evening. Dave. Good evening, David. That building is where Isambard Kingdom Brunel used to have his office. And you know what? I dare say he'd be quite pleased to discover a shipping container had landed on his doorstep, painted up with some of the uh, famous West Country products which do go all over the world. The idea, quite simply, to get more firms thinking globally. They're not doing too badly around here. There have been some encouraging figures recently. Let's just have a look at those. Growth in Southwest exports over the last year up 7%. And that's compared with a national growth of, well, under 1%. But before they get too excited, do you know what? It's still under 3% of all Southwest firms who do do any international trade whatsoever. Put that another way, for every firm that is exporting, there are 32 who effectively don't have a passport. So I've been out to see some of those who do. Hmm. Woody? Yeah. Tim Westwell really knows herbal tea. This is a herb library, walls lined with the flavours they mix here from around the world. From this little unit in South Bristol, they sell their concoctions back to the world. Yes, meet the man who really does sell tea to China. They've been growing green tea for thousands and thousands of years. They're the experts in green tea. However, like the Brits, they're waking up to the opportunities of herbal tea, the taste and the flavours. They're in dozens of countries, and they know what they're doing, but they wish they had, well, a little more help from London. Well, we go to the trade shows in uh, Japan or in, in Germany or in America, and wherever we go, the Brits are a kind of little uh, minnow uh, set up in the corner sometimes. Uh, we're in the shadow of these big places like Italy and Germany. have got such massive tents or marquees. They've got hundreds of companies turned up, all well funded by their governments, we feel, in some way, shape or form. Well, it goes all over Europe, um, right across the other side of Europe, Eastern Europe, um, Germany, France. No, James Whittick doesn't sell golf balls or clubs. From a particularly green part of our lush West Country, James sells top-class fertilisers for very picky customers. I do some deals in, in the Gulf, for example, where you know I know they can get the stuff from China. And yet, I said to them, you know, I'm not going to be competitive, you're going to get this stuff from China. He said, no, we need it from you, we need it from the British. It doesn't look much, a dusty, busy, industrial shed in South Somerset. But these sacks will find their way to Qatar, Bulgaria, the US. To get into those markets, James relied on the free advice offered by UK trade and investments. It always amazes me. When I very first started, I was worried they wanted something from us. But actually, it's free. Uh, they help you with money, grants, um, information. And it's about getting Britain exporting and getting stuff out of this country and money back into the country. Bit of a hidden jewel, is it? A bit of a closely guarded secret, do you think, from a lot of people? Yeah, I would have thought so. Um, uh, it's, it's specifically designed for SMEs, and there are so many of them out there, and so many of them don't know about it. Two West Country firms tasting global success then, but it seems they are still the exception, not the rule. Which is why, I suppose, they've got this container. Well, actually, it's more of a kind of mobile export advice show. Let's fling open the doors and see what we've got inside. Oh, they're heavy, these doors. And as you see here, we've got a place loaded with West Country products that do sell abroad and many of the kind of international trade advisors. Sarah Hilzer, you're one of those advisors. What sort of help can you give companies to get their trade yeah, abroad? West lines up all kinds of opportunities for companies in the Southwest. And we know that Southwest are already, uh, companies are already exporting quite a bit across um, Europe and the US. But often they don't know about the opportunities in further flung markets like Latin America, Middle East. So we're doing a lot to help them access research and contacts and information. OK, now just briefly, everybody's got a wish list for the Chancellor tomorrow. What sort of things would you like to get more help for these guys? Yeah, we'd really like to see a little bit of support for companies that want to grow. Uh, and a lot of that growth is going to be overseas. So anything that helps them reduce the burden of rates, business rates, of course, is, is welcome. And also perhaps some tax relief, some tax credits that 
could apply to those that want to do market research and access contacts overseas. We'd love to Okay, see thank you, Sarah. And you'll be taking this roadshow across the West Country. Now, there's no shortage of people asking for help from the Chancellor. I suppose these people would say they earn the money that politicians like to spend.